Hi everyone, welcome back to another Q&A video for uh, ROS2. Uh, my name is Rodrigo from The Construct and today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with a, an open source platform to create your own uh, robot fleet management system. And this is uh, OpenRMF, so um, if we go to uh, the website here, uh, it's an open source project from uh, Open Source Robotics Foundation and it gives you a tool to manage a large fleet of robots. So if you're interested in robot fleet management um, and you want to get started with something, this is probably the video for you. So uh, let's go, you guys. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to provide you with what we call a Rosject where you will have everything installed where you can get started with OpenRMF with some examples and even a simple simulation you can get started with. Uh, so for that we're going to go to theconstructsim.com. So once you're in here you can log in or uh, sign up if you haven't. It takes a second. And um, I'm going to be sharing a link of, uh, of the Rosject that I'm going to share down below. So uh, it's going to be the URL that you'll see down in the description. And once you are logged in and here to this uh, login screen, you can just paste it in your browser and it should, it should work. So uh, what should open is this Rosject. Uh, I've made an RMF template so you can get started right away without having to install anything. So that's that's really nice. And it's a ROS2 Galactic distribution. So once you paste that uh, URL, and again, down in the description, uh, and an image like this opens up, you just click on Run, and uh, we're going to start our Rust check. And uh, yeah, while it's loading, let me show you what I mean when I said I have some things uh, pre-installed for you. So OpenRMF has a GitHub repository where it explains you how you can install everything and get started. Um, we already did that for you in here. So what we're actually doing is repurposing some of the uh, launch files and things like that in the from the this repository RMF demos. Uh, so you can see how to modify it in order to fit whatever um, simulation or real life scenario you have. So um, it comes from um, our examples that we'll see. You, you'll find a lot of very good information here in the RMF demos GitHub. Okay, so once we go back to the um, Ross checked, we see that everything's loaded, so we'll close the notebook because we don't need it. So, all right, so as I was saying, let me just get the, some sort of image here that's, yes, right here. So, obviously what you want to do with these things, with these systems, is to control a fleet of robots and uh, you usually do this by providing them, you know, a certain way to go through your building. So in this image here we see on the in the middle, this is the first step uh, for getting started with the open RMF. So there is a really nice pipeline uh, that uh, the people developers have made where you can start with a blueprint of whatever area you want to implement this in and then uh, use the software called the traffic editor to paint the the walls and the paths that you want your robot fleets to move under because you usually want them to be you know controlled so it doesn't this supports like autonomous navigation but you still um, limit the robots to move within a certain area and that's what these line, line, lines are for, this orange one and a blue one. Uh, in theory, that would mean you have two robot fleets and 
each fleet goes only through uh, those paths, right? Uh, so that's what OpenRMF, what does it, what the developers provide, and you can start from the blueprint and get to your simulation uh, and uh, create the simulation from that blueprint. But what uh, we found when we got started with this is that a lot of the times uh, you already have the simulation uh, for in gazebo or something like this. So you want to adapt that to your application, you need some sort of map. So let's go, let me show you what I mean. So in here, I have a Rust check prepared where I have a simulation. Let me send, let me launch it so I can show it to you. So here we have our simulation. This is a simulated room of a robot of a of a coffee shop. Sorry. So um, we want to basically make a map of this and. Uh, so what I've done, a lot of people that are involved in ROS always have a map of the simulation because they have a robot of, of a room because they have a robot with a LiDAR and they can use um, a mapping package to get a map of your, of your environment. And that's exactly what I've done. What I've done is uh, used the uh, cartographer slam package to create a map of this environment using a robot with a lighter on top. So um, let me show you what I mean. So if we go to our IDE, the code editor down here, we'll see that we have um, three packages that are sort of the template we have to use RMF. Um, and ready to go already installed, which is really nice. So um, in this package, I have a bunch of files. Let me show you what I mean with that when I talk about that map. So I'll just download this image. And so yes, this is the image I'm starting from. And this you can tell it's a it's a, nav, it's a cartographer map from a LiDAR. And uh, Maybe you don't have the blueprint, you have this, and you want to get started with that. The uh, one thing you should know is that um, usually the cartographer slam and all those other packages that you use for mapping use a PGM file. They output a PGM. So you should have your file in a PNG format. So just use an online converter from PGM to PNG, and you should be ready to go, um, right? So now that we've talked about the map that we're going to use, let's add those, um, let's add those, let's start it. So the, the uh, software we're using is called Traffic Editor. So you, you just type that in on the terminal. This should open up right here, which is uh, the software. So we'll get started with our uh, new map really quickly. So we could just click on building new and we'll just save it in the same spot. So I called, I have a package called Starbots RMF. So I'm just gonna copy it in this. You can see that we have a ton of uh, maps there so you can check it out. So let's call this um, test. All right, so now we have a new uh, building file and then we're going to add a level here so we're going to call it l1 it's just the notation they use and we're going to uh, find a drawing and this is where we're going to put the um, png file right and then we just click ok and great now we have the map we want to use right so now we are going to add those lanes uh, those fleet lanes so let's say we have we're gonna have two fleets here so all we need to do is just click on add lane and let's say let's start for the first one so let's say we want this like so 
we want the robot to go through here and then end up over here let's say and then just press escape to stop doing it and uh, you'll see that you have a bunch of once you click on these areas you've made you have a bunch of uh, properties here that you can use uh, same for the nodes here for the dots so you can name the spots so let's let's name them so oh, sorry so we can name this for example start and if you can see there named it right here and then here and And as you can see, also we can have um, another prop, other properties on the lanes. So, for example, if you only if you want it to be bidirectional, you just set it to true here, and that way the robot will go back and forth here, um, be able to go back and forth instead of that just the direction where of the arrows here. So, but let's bring it back to false. All right. So then if we go to um, here, we'll see that this corresponds to our graph zero, right? And you can keep adding levels and things like that, but we'll stick it to, we'll stick with something um, simple. We'll just probably create another lane here. Oops, sorry, that, that's the wrong button. So we have another one like this and just we can say like give it another name and say square but this is something wrong we have here but because you have to make sure that all of the lanes are connected, right? So for that, we just have to make sure we have something connecting them. Right, and that's the basic of it. That's how you start. If you want to, you can create more graphs for more, um, for more fleets, uh, but you know, that's how you get started, right? So now we can save this and we'll see that we have that test map where we said we would, we have it right here. And it's just a YAML file with the points and lanes we added in the correct format and the drawing that we used um, and all these important things that the RMF will need in order to, to work well. So now that we have them in here, I'll talk about um, where it's in, in this package called Starbots RMF. I don't know if you remember, I talked about how we use this RMF demos as a template. And in here we, uh, we borrowed, we took that, uh, this CMake file for the package we made. So you can create your own package, an admin package, simple one and then just um, copy this um, these commands here and what they do is basically they just run things from the from the package of uh, the RMF demos RMF uh, packages that are needed to build maps things like that so now if you do this in this in this um, structure it'll be really easy for you to kind of switch of the components that you need for your own application. So as you can see here, we should have something like a building map generator, right? And this is just like a, a node that they've made in order to, I guess, generate a building map. And this is what we need. So it's really nice that this runs every time you compile. So you make sure you have everything you need uh, for your map that you made, and um, they call them they call these uh, this generating lane graphs, which are really important for RMF 
which are those lanes we we defined in the map and um, so once you compile this let's say you made a new map like I showed you and then just go into um, the your workspace and compile it in so we'll have to use this um, extra parameters for uh, the Qualcomm build but once we compile we should look for some output messages from this package I'm talking about great so now that it has compiled let's look for that output message and remember this is from the modifications for the CMake lists that come from the open source uh, robotics RMF demos so as you can see here we start seeing some things that have our test world oh. so it says building world file with the name of that and then what interests us here is the lane graphs that have been generated for our math for our map sorry so um, that's great so now if we go and look in our build folder under our starbots here we should see some maps being generated and then a test folder this is our our map name and we should have these generated nav graphs which is the uh, main element you need to get started with the uh, open RMF map right so now that we have compiled we have seen that it's generated these graphs we can use the template launch for visualizing uh, it actually launches everything but since nothing is running no robots are running here we'll only see the visualization so that is inside this package here as well so let me just show it to you because it's really helpful so we're gonna launch this but uh, it actually launches this that uh, like I said uses packages and the template is the same from RMF's demos to do to launch things that you'll need for your RMF and uh, even the adapter configuration for the fleet adapter even um, the free fleet packages that you need to have fleet adapters for your your mobile fleet uh, which I'll talk about in the next video uh, but for what we need right now uh, this is good enough and as you can see here it's using a it requires a nav graph file which was generated just a second ago and this and it's already formatted so you can just uh, just change your map name here up here and that's what we do well, we will just have to change this to test uh, so you can just use this template which is great um, so let's launch that and see what happens I'll actually have to compile again that this package because I changed that I don't need the argument because I'm not trying to generate them again the navigation graphs Oh, but it's done it. Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. Right, so we can source it and launch it. So again, this theory launches everything you need for a basic RMF um, setup. But obviously you won't get everything. But let me launch it again because 
Right, I forgot a step. In keeping with the structure, in order for you to easily change between maps and things like this, we actually need to do an extra step here. And uh, I've created this Arvis config folder inside of the package where I'm launching my RMF elements. And as you can see, I just have a bunch of templates, which again are copy from the RMF demos. So what I'm gonna do here is just create a new file called test.rvis and just copy one of the other ones because they're the same. Okay, like so. And lastly, we'll compile again and launch again. All right. So we should now have our map. So it's the map that we created along with the path that we gave it, right? So now if we had a simulation running and everything set up correctly, we would see the robots on top of these lines if we set them correctly. Uh, but at least now you have a map that you can start working with where you can define these uh, paths you want your robot fleets to go underneath. So yes, basically this is the first, first step you need to get a map that you can start testing with. And uh, it's a little cumbersome at the beginning to have something that works right out of the box. So that's why I'm providing this template here, this Rustject, which is really nice because you can see how the launches are made for the RMF. And from there you can extrapolate what you'll need for your own setup if you have a simulation already and you want to do something like this. So let me guys uh, know what you think. And if you have any questions, just post them down below. And um, yes, we'll see you again for the next video in which I'll talk uh, how to use the um, fleet adapter, which is necessary to connect your RMF system with your robots and um, the Open Source Robotics Foundation offers a free fleet, they call it, which is an open source fleet adapter that you can use to get started with your fleet management. All right, guys, so we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.